Hello friends, welcome to Leg Life. You guys, we get this video requested quite a bit. A lot. A lot in the comments. <laughs> Today, we are showing you Sherry's entire Disney ear collection. So some of you may know I actually have my own channel um, and I actually posted a video similar to this about two years ago on that channel, but my collection has grown a lot since then. And we actually do get questions from time to time about your channel. Yeah. Uh, people in the comments <laughs> ask, uh, you know, I subscribed, is Sherry gonna make new videos? And honestly, we don't know. Our hope is to eventually get more videos up on that channel. Yeah. Uh, honestly though, we started that channel when Leg Life was much smaller and took a lot less time. Uh, and so the realities of Leg Life have just kind of taken over a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I will say we definitely hope though to get more videos up on Sherry's life because you really enjoy doing that. I did and it was kind of a way to focus more on like my interests and not I mean, yeah so like leg life is really like our life yep. and Sherry's life was really just me. Yeah and I will say <laughs> even though there's not new videos up on there we're gonna link it down below if you want to go subscribe yeah. because there are some videos over there I think you guys will find interesting. Uh, Sherry has some ear tutorials in how she made some of her ears. Mm -hmm. You guys ask about those all the time. Uh, and I think maybe you just haven't seen them because they're on her channel, yeah. not on this one. But Sherry, there is a table that is filled with ears. And a wall full of ears. As well as a wall full of ears. I think we're gonna start on the wall. Okay. Let's show them this crazy, crazy collection. So we're gonna start with the ears I have on the wall, starting with just the classic Minnie Mouse. And then we have the 2019 ears. We have the 60th anniversary of Disneyland. We have the 25th anniversary of Disneyland Paris, and we have the potion purple ears. We have the castle with the silver and gold. We have rose gold and the rose gold cruise ears. Fun story about these ears. Uh, <laughs> Sherry wanted these ears for so long and we couldn't find them. They were sold out. They were so expensive online. One of you bought them for her and sent them to her. Still, one of our all-time favorite viewer stories. You guys are amazing. amazing. Sorry, Sherry, back to your tour. <laughs> I have the navy and pink polka dots. I've got the millennial pink. And then these next three pairs are ears that viewers have made for me. Um, full confession, there was actually one other pair that if you were made and it was a casualty of the earthquake this past November, it fell and completely busted apart and I just couldn't get it to stick back together. So that's what I've got up on the wall and now I'm going to show you what I have on my little stand that I made a few videos ago. So I'm going to start with these um, just because these are also ears that I have purchased. Everything on the wall has I've, I've either purchased or has been made for me. Um, most everything else down here I have actually made. So these are just the princess ears. Um, I think you probably saw in a vlog when I bought them. I love these. They're so pretty and very girly. These we bought on our last Disney World trip, right? I think so, yeah. And these are a bit of an in-between um, I <laughs> because these I actually bought at like Goodwill, I think, mm -hmm. and they have, like, these are, the ears are ones you can actually buy at Disney, um, but the bow was, like, all kinds of janky, so I actually took it off and put my own bow on it, and it's just a sheer kind of bow, but kind of pretty. And now everything else here I have actually made. These I made for our Christmas trip with my parents uh, two years ago. Yep. I love the Christmas ears and there's another pair coming up. Um, to me they're just so iconic. They're kind of like the, you actually designed them after like the white Christmas. Yeah. Right with like the big white and the red. I just, these are my favorite. I like them. So this is another pair that I made for another Christmas trip I think three years ago. Mm -hmm. And these are just like the little palms that I bought at Michael's and just attached. They're kind of cute. That's a fun and easy way to customize yours. Yeah. These were, I think, the first Christmas ears you made, maybe? I think so, yeah. Yeah. And then these are also the Christmas ears. These were much more uh, based on White Christmas, which is one of my favorite Christmas movies, um, with the black bow versus the green. I kind of like the green bow better, but this is very classic. Nope. This, <laughs> hands down, like, these are probably top five of all of the ears you've ever made. Whoa. I love this so much because like, to me, this is like the buckle, like Santa's buckle. Yeah. It's just a classic Christmas. Like I just, these are my vote for best Sherry's Christmas oh. ears. And this is actually one of the very first pairs of ears mm -hmm. I made and I bought this bow. It was actually on another headband. I think it was like on the side of the headband and I bought it and I was like, I think I can stick that on some ears and make a cute, 
Disney ears and I did and it worked and I was like I bet I can keep doing that and so this is really kind of what started it all and it's got Cinderella in the middle there and it's just simple and pretty. So would you say that Sherry Leg Creations, the um, the gigantic ear corporation that you have now started, <laughs> started with these ears? Started with those ears right there. That is pretty fun. Someday these will be in a museum maybe. Mm. And they'll be like, wow, those are the first pair of Sherry's. It's like Walt's original drawings. <laughs> These are like Sherry's original ears. I mean, I doubt it. <laughs> I'm sure most of you have seen these, my Captain Marvel ears. A lot of you are asking for them, and I'm working on them, I promise. <laughs> we have been trying to, you know, it was last year that we started Sherry's Etsy shop. Yeah. And the first year has been much better than ever expected, right? Yes. And so one of the much things- Much bigger. Much bigger. One of the things that we're trying to do though is kind of like streamline that process because I don't think you expected the overwhelming response that you've had. Nope. And so it's like, <laughs> and so it's like at the beginning when you were just like making one or two pairs of ears for friends, it you know, you didn't necessarily have to think about like efficiency. You right. know what I mean? Because it was just like if, if a pair of ears took you a couple hours, then that was fine, right? right. Uh, but now when you're getting lots and lots of orders. <laughs> when I need to make like 10 or 20 pairs of ears, I can't have each pair take me two hours. Yeah, and so we actually bought a cr <laughs> Cricut machine. We've been working on some like designs to help make the process a little bit better. Yeah. Um, and so, I don't know, I've said this in a lot of vlogs before, I'm really proud of you uh, for how well it's been going. And I see ears like this and I'm just like, my wife made this, you guys. I did come a long way though, from just gluing a bow <laughs> on that was already made to actually like That's a this. Great way to look. This, you're doing so good. Thanks. These are also gonna look pretty familiar to a lot of you. Um, cruise ears. I did actually stick a Mickey on here and I'm not super sold on it, which is why I don't include the Mickey on my cruisers that I sell. Cause I don't know if I love it. But this is actually the first pair of cruise ears that I made. Um, and I cannot find this ribbon anymore anywhere. It's actually my favorite ribbon, but I, I think like this ribbon that I now use is great because it actually has the wire in it. So you can kind of poof it out and this one you can't, it's just flat. And you guys, we have looked all over, like all, all over. All over the internet. That. It just doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I agree with you though. I don't necessarily love the Mickey in the middle. Yeah. I, but again, I think, you know, kind of like the white Christmas ears, I'm more of a traditionalist. Yeah. And so I like the minimal look of that. But you have sold a poop ton of those ears. <laughs> I think that's the technical term. The, it has the scientific weight of measure for the amount of ears, <laughs> cruise ears that Sherry sold. But you guys, yeah, the original yeah. pair, yeah. that's them. Very few of you actually have the, these with this ribbon. Ooh, that's kind of a little bit of a collector thing, right? Mm -hmm. So if you were one of Sherry's very first orders, you can actually tell because the amount of stripes that the ribbon you have yeah. um, has on there. So a little bit of Sherry Leg ears pro tip. <laughs> and this next pair of ears was super simple to make. And I think I would actually do it a little differently now because I've like learned some things, mm -hmm. but this was an early pair as well. But this I just bought from Michael's and it had like the whole crown kind of around it and mm -hmm. I just cut it off and then glued it to the ears and now I have a crown. That would be a cheap and simple way if you were having like a kid's birthday party mm -hmm. that like you wanted like a specific color theme, right? It was yeah. like Disney princess and you wanted to make- Because they have these in all different colors and they are super cheap. It's just like styrofoam. Yeah, great way to customize pair of ears. Yeah. And here's another pair. I actually really like these. Um, I don't like the ears themselves. These were a, a test ear <laughs> and it's, like wire and it's not super cute, but the ears I actually really like and I cut out the castle and I put the little like fireworks on here and then the little hearts on the back. And the fireworks are on there because you made those, we were celebrating what? New Year's Eve. Yep, we were at New Year's Eve at Disneyland and so you wanted some New Year's Eve ears and so you made castle with fireworks. Yes, I did. And, um, and a little hidden Mickey in the fireworks. Pretty fun. And here's another pair of ears. Sorry, you can kind of see the ring light showing up in there. This is Mike Wazowski. I've got his little eye on here and his little horns and he's so cute. These are the Beauty and the Beast ears that I actually made for our trip to Disneyland to Paris and I have upgraded a better design. I like these better. Yep. <laughs> They're similar, but I like these better. This is actually what I sell on my Etsy shop. These were some early ears as well and when I was describing them to Adam, I had them all over my head and I was like, I'm gonna do this and he was like, that's not gonna look good. I was like, what are you talking about? And I finished them and I he, I think he was over at a friend's house when I finished them and I sent him a picture and he was like, yeah, no. 
But then you saw them in person, and they are actually cuter in person, I think. <laughs> I hope. I still like them. But I cannot duplicate them, which was not forward thinking. Yeah. Because um, this is Tinkerbell. And I was sort of thinking like Pixie Hollow, this is just like a ribbon that I kind of crumpled and put on there. And she's shooting her pixie dust over here. But this, Tinkerbell herself, who flies, P.S., um, is actually an ornament from like the whole big ornament collection. And I can't find just Tink anywhere online. You can buy the entire ornament collection for like $25. But I don't want to do that to be able to like <laughs> replicate these so these will never be replicated i'm sorry i do really <laughs> like like that to me is very clever right because when you think of tink at disney light it's her it's her flying from the castle you know what i mean like tink is always flying and so i love yeah. that on the ears she is flying i actually gave her wings as well i think she didn't have oh she did i think they broke, broke off. off maybe i don't know but i actually gave her like sheer wings that's pretty clever. <laughs> and some of my newer and most requested ears. I've got Rapunzel here. It's got the lantern. I've got her little son here. And then her dress kind of in the, in the bow. Her hair with the, the flowers. These are fun to make. They're really hard to make. They're very detailed. A lot of detailed. Well, and one of the things, and I don't know if you guys can see, but on the sun, like every piece is cut out. You know what I mean? It's not like one image. Right. In the first probably three that I made, I actually hand cut these. Like I drew and then I hand cut them out. And then I said, we're buying a Cricut machine. That's, that is true. <laughs> it is these ears that prompted the Cricut purchase. Mm -hmm. I will say that is one thing I'm going to brag on Sherry about is that she is meticulous when it comes to details and quality. And so for her, if there's a shortcut that saves her time, but it like compromises the design or the quality, then you won't do it. In fact, like all of her ears, she actually makes on, these are actually, we purchased these, these are Disney ears, Yeah. right? So she doesn't use like a, just like a normal headband and then wrap it with fabric. Like the base for all of her ears are actual Disney licensed ears. Yeah. For a couple of reasons you do that because um, you've actually talked about before that some ears when you wear to the parks give you a headache. Yes, because the like the headbands get really tight, and like the ones that I buy at the parks, I can't wear all day. Yeah, but I ended up taking them off. But these are like really comfortable. They're really high quality, mm -hmm. and so for you, like I don't know, I'm just really proud of you because there's a much easier way to do these ears and a cheaper way and a cheaper <laughs> way, but it would not be like this. So you do such a good job. Plus, it was actually really fun uh, when we were on the Disney Magic. Sherry was wearing these when she met Rapunzel at Rapunzel's Royal Table, and obviously Rapunzel loved the ears, and so do I. And a lot of you are going to recognize this as well. Um, this was my first pair of the pirate ears, and I have updated this a little bit as well. First of all, this is again kind of that wiry um, ear that I don't like. Just really and cheap so feeling. It's just cheap, and this is kind of like mesh, like you can actually like see through mm -hmm. it. And this was literally a big bolt of fabric that I cut and so it's like shredding and it's not cute so and I keep saying I just need to make myself a pair of my pirate ears that I sell but they sell out so quick that I just I haven't actually made myself a pair yet. So. Every time she makes a pair to keep for herself like it sells. And so. I can't be like nope I'm gonna keep this one for myself. Yeah so. <laughs> you definitely need to like make yourself an updated pair of pirate ears they're yeah. just your own. Yeah. Next we have my Ariel inspired ears we've got the seashell we've got her fin We've got her hair and the fork, um, and then like the, the bubbles. I don't know if you can see those. These are fun, and these um, I actually made with some friends of mine. We kind of had like an ear making party, and it was, I kind of just, I didn't know what I was gonna do going into it, and I was like, eh, I think I'm gonna try aerial ears, and I just sort of like made them. And these sell pretty well too. That's what we should do on one of our Disney cruises, Sherry. We should have our own black market excursion where you bring craft supplies and people can have like a private ear making party with Sherry. You would never do that, would you? Well, I mean, just the sheer amount of supplies that we would need that's, would be like an entire that's, suitcase. That's a good point. We're definitely not going to be doing that. <laughs> Next, we have my Jack Skellington Nightmare Before Christmas ears. These are super fun. And I, this is again another reason I bought the Cricut, but I haven't found a way to actually get this design. I actually hand drew this Jack 
and I hand cut it out and everything that I've sold so far of these have been hand cut out and it they're hard it's, re it's really hard and so I can't find a good um, pattern for the Cricut that I like and so I haven't replicated these just yet. I actually think these are ears that will sell well, especially around Halloween time, if you can figure out a way, again, to not have to be hand drawing and hand cutting out every single Jack Skellington. And we're almost done, I promise. <laughs> we have my leopard print ears. I actually wore these to Animal Kingdom the last time we uh -huh. went. Um, they're just really cute. And this is actually just fabric that I like attached to the fabric ears. Um, and I don't, I don't know. They're so simple and they're so cute and I love these. And this last pair of ears is gonna take a minute to explain. So we actually made a video about this way, I mean, way back. Yeah, so a long time ago. We might try to find that link, but who knows? It's way back there. But these, um, my thought was instead of having to pack like 10 pairs of ears for your Disney trip, I was like, what if you could just pack one and then just change them out? And so these I actually just did with Velcro on the ear, which you cannot see because it's black. And you can, I just have flowers and I have like these little guys that I can put on, these are wooden. I have, I think I actually wore these on our first cruise. Yep, before we, we didn't vlog that cruise, but these and were I, your very first Disney cruise years. Yep, and so I just have just the Velcro that's actually attached there and then the other side of the Velcro, and then I just stick it on. And it's a whole new pair of ears. And like, you know, flowers or bows, I think I wore these for Halloween. Mm -hmm. These are actually um, like wrapping supplies, like the wrapping bows that I just bought in the gift wrap aisle and look at how cute that is yeah you know when <laughs> when we first had this idea uh this was a few years ago yeah and honestly at the time we were looking online to see if there was any kind of interchangeable disney ear and there wasn't this was yeah. and i know disney's come out with something a little similar it's not using with the, velcro with the bows, with the bows yeah. but this was even before that and so like we looked at blogs we looked everywhere we could for it to see if anybody was doing this and they weren't i know that there's a lot of people that are doing this now, yeah. I don't think that we started this or invented this. We did. Okay, we sure did. Um, <laughs> but I still think this is one of those absolutely genius ideas. Yeah. Uh, because again, like when we travel, if we're going for a longer Disney trip, it is a lot of space to pack a lot of ears. Right, well, because I wear a different pair of ears every day. Yep, that's exactly right. And so, so to be able to have you know, Halloween ears and mm -hmm. cruise ears and Christmas ears and, and so flower easy. and garden ears and just switch them out. There we go. New pair of ears. That's so awesome. It's so, so easy. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things that we've ever come up with and you did such a good job on those. Thank you. Um, yeah, I wish we would have probably patented that early on. Well, sure. Oh, well. But I do have a whole basket full of other flowers and other little wooden pieces and other yep. little like wrapping bows with Velcro on the back and I can just kind of pick through and figure out what I want and stick them on. Yeah, and we're always looking for stuff, right? What's yeah. like now we've kind of gotten really good at knowing the exact size. Yep. And so it's like if we're at Michael's or we're anywhere and we see something that's like that size, it's like this could work on Velcro ears. Yep. Uh, so I don't think you've worn these to the part. And here's one of the hard things about your ear collection. You have so many ears. And good ones. And that's what I was just gonna say. <laughs> and so many good ears that it's kind of difficult because like, you know, again, if we lived in Florida and we got to go to the park like, you know, a hundred days a year, right. all of this stuff would get used, but we don't. And so like a lot of these don't get to get used. And that's kind of a shame because they are so stinking awesome. I have actually worn them. So like I said, I think on our very first cruise, I did totally. actually wear these on the cruise yep. and then I have like big white flowers yeah. that I, they're actually a little bit bigger than the ears that kind of stick out above and they're super cute and I wore them to Animal Kingdom. Yep, I remember that because we were at Tusker House having brunch and like all of our photos from that day uh, are you <laughs> giant with the white, giant white flowers white. on my head. <laughs> I know, I love that so much. So you guys, that is Sherry's ear collection. We get asked about it all the time. Yeah, I think I counted, I have 36 pairs of ears, but with these all interchangeable, I have like endless. Yeah, well, and, and I would say you probably have, um, oh my goodness, 
I, I bet you have 10 or 15. I think 20. I think I've got probably 20 different like ears that I can make. Cool. Wow. Just with these. Eventually this leads to an intervention. Then that's the next video is just us sitting in a circle with people <laughs> saying, Sherry, uh, I have a problem. you have a problem and we're here to help. You. I know, but they're so cute though. And that's what matters, right? So you guys, I want to hear from you. Tell me in the comments below, um, what is your favorite pair of ears yeah. in all of Sherry's collection? Would love to know what your thoughts are. For me personally, if I had to think of my favorites, um, I don't know, I think that you have been killing it lately when I think of the Tangled Ears and the Captain Marvel Ears and like the Ariel Ears, like this to me is just like, you have so, I don't know, like your ear game is getting more and more amazing. So I love a lot of the more <laughs> recent ears. Again, favorite Christmas ears. Yeah. Do you by chance have a favorite in your collection? You know, I was just thinking about that. I don't know that I, I do. I have really fun memories attached to a lot of them. Yeah. And so like for me, it's, it's, even if they're not necessarily my favorite ears, they spark a really fun memory for me. Well, that's one of the things that I love about a lot of the ears that we've purchased is actually that, um, you know, it remember, I remember the time, you know, we were in Paris for the 25th anniversary, right? Or Disneyland's 60th. Right. And so looking at ears sparks memory. Like honestly, even ears that like viewers have made us, like I remember like meeting them in person or I remember like right. opening the box and seeing that for the first time. So, so yeah, I do love that more than just the quality and the fun, how great they look. There are memories attached, honestly, to pretty much every one of these pairs of ears. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Um, like he said, let us know what your favorite pair of ears are and we will see you next time.